Today we are going to see countable and uncountable nouns. What is meant by countable nouns? So, nouns that we can count using numbers. For example, apple, apples. We can count it separately. Pencil, pencils. You can count 1, 2, 3 like that. You can count in a uh, separate unit. So, that nouns comes under the countable noun. It has both singular and plural forms. Uh, girl, girls, boy, boys. It has both singular and plural form. We can use them with a and other. We can use these articles before the countable nouns. Example, cow, girl, table. What are the things are uh, uh, in separate units with that and all comes under countable nouns. Like uh, girl, girls, man, men. So all these things we can uh, count under countable nouns. It, all these nouns come under countable noun. So what does mean by uncountable noun? What are the things you can't count in a separate unit? For example, sand. Can you can ask, count the sand separately? No. So such type of nouns comes under uncountable noun. We cannot divide into separate elements. So we can't count them. For example, milk. If we want to measure, we can say it as uh, liter of milk, bottles of milk, uh, and uh, we can't count milk itself. One milk, two milk, we can't count like other nouns. Like countable nouns, we can't count them. So examples of uncountable nouns, these are the substances. Coal. Can you call Count the coal separately, one will be bigger size, one will be smaller size. You can't count the coal. Uh, you can count it as a uh, bag of coal, like that. Food, rice, after cooking, can you uh, count that? Gravy, can you count? No. Like this, ice, a cup of ice, you can say, or uh, we can say a half kg of ice, like that, one you can say. Like this, iron, rice, steel, water. So, all these are substances, materials. It, all those you can see and touch, but we can't count into separate units. So it comes under uncountable. Like courage, loyalty, honesty, patience. Can we count them? Uh, no, we can't count these words. How much honesty person is this? We can't count. How much uh, courage is person is this? We can't count that. So these words, when it is used as noun, it comes under uncountable noun. Then feelings. Happiness, joy, pride, relief, respect. Can we count that? No. When these words also used as noun, it comes under countable noun. So let us see the difference between countable and uncountable noun. So countable nouns can be counted with number. Like uh, uh, one boys, two, one boy, two boys, three boys, like that. Uncountable nouns cannot be counted with number. We can't say one water, two water like that. Next, countable nouns take both singular and plural form. But uncountable noun has only singular form. Countable nouns can be made plural. Uh, we can change it into plural. Uh, chat, chats. We can change it into plural form. But uncountable nouns generally it, uh, has no plural form. So, countable nouns use the interrogative expression how many. Uh, how many pencils do you have? How many books do you have? You can ask uh, like that. Uncountable nouns use the expression how much. Uh, how much money do you have? How much water is there left in the bucket? Like that you can use the words how many and how much for countable and uncountable nouns. Not only that, many other words are there. So, some more differences of that. Uh, in addition to, to that, the singular form can be used to use the determinant A or an. A student, A book means one book, one student. A or an comes means there is only one. We cannot use A and with the nouns. Uh, we can say a lot of, I can hear a sound. We can say like that. Uh, if you hear some sound, we can use a sound. Uh, same articles, but the usage is different. Next point, asking the quantity how many as we said.
said already. We should uh, use uh, how many like the keywords. But to uh, calculate uh, the uncountable nouns, to measure them, we should use uh, a cup of, a cup of milk, a bag of, a bag of uh, uh, rice, like that 1 kg, 1 liter, a pinch of salt, like that and on off, like that we can use only the uh, quantity like that. When we have to measure uncountable noun, uh, we, we can ask uh, how much water is left. So we will be using the word like uh, that. So that words we call it as quantifiers. Quantifiers are nothing but the words used at the beginning of a noun phrase. They are used to express an amount or a degree of something. That is measurement. They are uh, also used with persons also. So these are the examples when we use uh, the countable noun, a majority of. The majority of union, mem union members voted in favor of the leader. A number of a number of people have started the test. Several. She asked us several questions. Many. There are many things to do today. A large number of. This newspaper has a large number of subscribers. A few. They ate a few biscuits with their tea. Few. Few people know the answer to this problem. Very few, very few students learn Latin nowadays. So what is the difference between a few and few? Few means almost nothing is there. I have few uh, things left means nothing is there. A few means something is left there. The few means what is enough to you? It is there. So that is the uh, difference between uh, a few, few and the few also we will be using. A great number of uh, the great number of problems have arisen. So these are the uh, some of the words we use before the countable nouns. With uncountable nouns we can use much, a bit, like that. These words we can use. How much time have you got? Bit. The weather is a bit warm today. A great deal of that can the car matters a great deal to him. A large amount of, a large quantity of cakes was sold on New Year's. You can use a little, little, very little. Some, some quantifiers are used with both countable and uncountable nouns. They are enough, all, more, most, less, least, like that. Enough. I think we have enough vegetables so we won't buy today. All. All the milk has been used. More. He has got more friends than his sister. So like this uh, uh, most also we will be using for both countable and uncountable nouns. So uh, I think you have got a good idea about countable and uncountable nouns. Thank you.